right here. See that? I have non. We only need the two of us together. I need only you in this crazy world. Cause we got love. Love. I need only you here with me. You wanna get close to me? Why don't you do it right now? You know we met for a reason, but you're trying to deny. To be together, it's heavy weather. We're heading for tonight. You better take what you can, cause the time is right now. We only need the Yeah. I have, I have um from the ordinary line a silicilic acid mask on. I'm getting ready to go to therapy because I have therapy at eleven o'clock. I normally don't have it on Mondays. I'm getting ready for that. And um, I fed the piggies, I fed the dogs, Arlo gave Chloe her meds, Rico took his hip and joint chews, so did her. The fucking dog is driving me nuts. Arlo's in the shower, when she gets out, I'm gonna jump in, and then I'm going to, fucking dog, I'm going to get dressed. She has work today, so I'm making her like a chicken sandwich, sorry. Ooh, extreme close up. I'm making her like a chicken sandwich, like a chicken patty sandwich, like a Tyson's chicken patty sandwich on a six, four, seven, two slices of bread with lettuce and tomato. And she'll have something on the side, probably with pickle or something. I don't know. I'm gonna make myself a sandwich on Dave's killer bread. It's gonna be like a vegetarian sandwich. I'm gonna put cheese, I'm gonna put cucumber, lettuce, tomato, some onion. I don't feel like having any meat um, for lunch today. Side of a pickle, maybe some banana peppers. Yeah, and so that's what's barking at me right now. Oh, I have to clean that glass. These dogs, it looks fucking atrocious. It's like I never clean, but that's not true because we all know I'm like, I don't know, a crazy cleaning person. Um, anyway, so that's, I have to bring her in. I'm going to make a Thai iced tea to bring with me, and um, yeah, that's all. That's all for now. All right, came back from therapy. I'm having lunch. This is just like a vegetable sandwich on Dave's Killer Bread. Lettuce, tomato, some cheese. There's some plant-based cheese on here and a small little piece of truffle cheese. Tomatoes on here, mayo, and cucumber. And I'm having it with these marinated, there's onion, carrots, um, ginger, yeah, ginger, cauliflower, cauliflower all kinds scallions. of shit. Arlo's dad made it, so I'll have some of that. Not a lot of anything has been happening today. I did a lot of editing. It's gonna be really dark, but I did a lot of editing today. Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's so fucking dark. Excuse my space buttons or whatever you want to call these. Anyway. I did a lot of editing. I did three videos. I still have like, whoa. I edited like three videos. I still have like three left. Come on. Oh, it's cold out there. This is her medicine, by the way. It's in cheese. Come on. Good girl. She just, she's such a good girl. Once in a while, she tries to play us. Then she'll spit it out. But most of the time, she takes it without ever giving us any trouble. She's such a good girl. Anyway, so I just wanted to say good night because I'm tired. And uh, I had a really long therapy session and it was very good for me. I needed it. I needed I needed to cry it out and I needed to speak about some things. And I really adore my therapist. She is extremely smart and I want to talk about what I learned but I'll do that tomorrow um, I like to talk it out so I'm gonna to talk to you guys about it tomorrow though after all is said and done in the afternoon I will get back on here so anyway toodles good Tuesday morning I have been busy cleaning the guinea pigs cages so that's why I haven't picked up the camera until now I don't even know what time it is, to be honest with you. I think it's like, 
I don't know, maybe 10 something. Let's see. Let's see. I just took a shower and I deep conditioned my hair. I actually put, it is 10.49. I put coconut oil in it and mayo on the ends because they get extremely dry when I dye my hair and I don't have purple anymore so we know I dyed my hair. So now, it's nice and soft on the ends and they're not looking rough. Um, so, right here, see that? I have naan, hold on. You know what naan, whoops, you know what naan is, right? It's like a flatbread, like um, Indian people like to um, serve it with their food, like with garlic and butter and stuff like that. I think it's like garlic or oil, whatever the case may be. I don't know what I'm saying, but it's naan. This is what it looks like. It's kind of small. So we each have one and a half because there were three left and I'm making like a pizza with them. So I'm going to put them in the oven and get them crispy and then I'll take them out and then top them and put them back into the oven. Arlo's having hers like a white pie. I'm having pepperoni. Um, actually, I don't even know. I think I'll, yeah, I'll add some pepperoni. So I'm gonna put some pepperoni on mine, some mushrooms, maybe some peppers. And Arlo's having hers with garlic and um, ragout and stuff like that. So, and then I'm having mine with this sauce. My dad made homemade sauce. That's just marinara, but it's made with San Marzano tomatoes. So, nothing beats his sauce, to be honest with you. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna heat up my coffee that I did not get to finish this morning because I, I thought that I finished it, but I did not. And I'm watching Jenna Eats. On TikTok, I love her. If you don't follow her, you should follow her. She's sweet and she has an awesome little channel over there on TikTok. So, and it's Jenna with a H, J E N N A H Eats. Anyway, and then later on, I am making for dinner, I'm gonna make this Swiss chard. I'm gonna make all of it because why not? So, I'm gonna make the white stem Swiss chard and the rainbow Swiss chard. And I'm going to then make a um, Sloppy Jane, which is Sloppy Joe, but like a healthier version where you put the meat, which I'm gonna grind up some chicken and add some peppers and you know how to make a Sloppy Joe base. Tomato paste, all that. But I'm going to put it over a big sweet potato. And we'll have the Swiss chard on the side. You'll see it, what I'm talking about if you can't like, visually see that so anyway let me get to the pizza i'll show you what it looks like when it's done okay so this is what it looks like those are mine we have one and a half pieces of naan and these are arlo's and i'm gonna just slice them up and this is our lunch today there you go let's see what we got oh these are nice look at the inside Ooh, very nice. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I love the handle and I love the way it's gripped to the pan because should be loosening up with those shitty ones. So there it is. There's a little, little teeny frying pan. There it is. Look at that. Very nice, very nice. The lid is so cute. The handle is really cute. So that goes with that. And then this is like a, a saucepan and I love that it has a spout on both sides. That's amazing. That is awesome. This is a lid for one of the big pots here. There it is. This is so nice. It's so much better than what we have. I don't know if you can see. But look at the handles. like. Really, really nice. Really, really nice. So this is a big pan. I'll show you everything once I... Really nice. Really nice. It's nicer than the ones we have. We thought those were nice, but they started acting a fool. But we've had them for, what, two years? There's another frying pan right here, like a bigger one. This is everything as a whole. So you have, like, the bigger pan or the bigger pot. There it is. Frying pan, small frying pan, tiny little pot, and then like a sauce pot. And then it comes with, like I said, a baking pan, like a baking sheet, and then all of these utensils for cooking. I love it.
Love, love, love it. So Thank I've you. Got my Swiss chard in here. This is the rainbow Swiss chard and the white stem Swiss chard. I'm just soaking it because Swiss chard can be a little sandy. I'll probably soak it once, rinse it, and then do it again. So, and then I'm just going to cook it in some chicken broth because it gives it a lot of flavor. And that's it. That's all. We're going to have that with my meal tonight. So I just had dinner like, I just had dinner like, I don't know, half an hour ago, something like that. It was very random. So I bought Swiss chard from the produce market the other day, and it was really good. I made it today. I made all of it. All I did was clean it really good, like I soaked it. I think I showed you. I soaked it because it could be sandy. I trimmed off some of the stalk, but you can eat that. It actually becomes very tender as long as you cook it long enough. And then I cooked it in some chicken broth. So it gave it like a lot of great flavor. It's so good. It's like a really good leafy green. It was delicious. And then I had it with six tiny little chicken shumais. They were like literally this big. <laughs> so small. Um, I think we got those from Trader Joe's. And then the chicken... Um, I think they're called chicken soup dumplings from Trader Joe's. You get six of them. You microwave them for two minutes. I used a sweet chili sauce with them. Um, I just put like a little sweet chili sauce on the side and just kept dipping them in there. And they were out of this world. And if I go to Trader Joe's, I want to remember to get a couple of them because they were so freaking delicious. So I had that with the shumai and the swiss chard it was delicious it was good it was just something that i whipped together because i didn't really have anything and arlo was having leftovers because she when we went to her, her sister's wedding on saturday we dropped her mom off at the house and every time we go to her mom's house she always sends us back with stuff so um arlo had some of her dad's uh stuff that he made um either the night before or that day I don't know but she ate it yesterday and today which gave me the days off from cooking which is amazing um yeah so she has therapy tomorrow at six um and we're having Vietnamese spring rolls so while she's at therapy I will get all of the it's a lot of prep for the spring rolls but it's worth every bit of prep so good so um i'll get that together i'm just kind of hacking around laying around doing absolutely fucking nothing today but watching like my therapist said she said to watch tiktoks or any social media that makes me feel good so i am i'm watching a lot of the girls and stuff that i watch on here and no news no world events, no news. I'm trying to stay away from that because that shit just it gives me anxiety. Um, but I've just been kind of bleh, today. I also have a doctor's appointment at 3 o'clock tomorrow. So, you know, there's that. Mm -hmm. I was supposed to, I know this is TMI, but I was supposed to go get, um, you know how when you get blood work done, the doctor gave me a script to get stool, but I never got it done because when we went there to Quest Labs, um, they never gave me the thing because it's like you have they have to give you the certain cup or whatever to put it in. <coughs> oh, Jesus Christ. So, and then, you know, life's been kind of busy, so... I'll have to just go get it done sometime, maybe this week. Anyway, so that's that. I guess we'll go over my labs. You know, same old, same old. Um, like I said, he has me logging my blood pressure since December 21st, which was forever ago. Um, but 
I need to explain to him that I have a very bad anxiety around that blood pressure cuff. I always have. I've been like that for years. Anytime that fucking blood pressure cuff comes out, it's very hard for me to just stay calm. It just doesn't happen, right? It just doesn't happen. Even when I used to work with Arlo at the nursing home and I used to ask one of like the nurses, like one of my friends to check my blood pressure to see if it was high because if it felt high, I wanted to know how high it was. Even a friend taking my blood pressure, it was still, I was still very anxious about it. So he has to understand that. I'm just extremely anxious about it. So I don't know what he wants to do about that. But you just can't expect me to sit down and be like, okay, here's my arm and it's going to come out absolutely perfect. It's not. Especially somebody with very high anxiety. It's just not going to happen. Just being there gives me anxiety. Could you imagine the fucking blood pressure cuff? Anyway. Wait to talk to you guys. <sighs> But my therapy yesterday, um, I can't go over the whole spiel of it. I just, it wears me out every time I talk about it. But my therapist wants me to, we're going to work on loving myself because right now I do not love myself. And I admit, I do not even like myself at this very moment. Never mind love. And we're going to work on challenging my thoughts because my worries and my thoughts in my head um, they take over my life. They take over my day to day. They take over everything. And we're going to work on challenging them. So that should be fun. And just, you know, it was just a really good session. I had, I walked out of there feeling like something was accomplished. Um, and that's the first time that that's really happened because with my other therapist, I didn't feel that way. I didn't feel that way. I felt like we went like around in a circle in, in, in the office, like we went, but I didn't leave there feeling like I left with any kind of knowledge of what to do next or how to, like, there was nothing. There was just nothing. So I didn't leave like that yesterday. Um, I felt good. So that's a good sign, right? Anyway. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. I'm tired. I'm just going to chill out and do nothing. I'm watching a girl on TikTok. Her name is Sia. She lives in Seattle and she's got a dog and two cats and I enjoy watching her. So I'm gonna keep watching. <laughs>